Hey everybody, it's B Diz the Rockstar, part of Super Obvious. In this video, we're talking about the return of Guy Busick, which can lead to the return of Stu Mocker. Let's go. I'll be right back. Hello, Detective Ben. Guy Busick, who is one of the writers for Scream 5 and 6, along with James Vanderbilt, is returning to write the script for Scream 7. This is great news because Guy is someone who believes Stu is still alive and can make a return to the Scream franchise. Guy being a part of the writing team again means that the return of Stu is more possible than ever. If you didn't know, Stu was supposed to make his return for Scream 3 and be the ghost face for the reveal. He was also supposed to be the leader of the Ghostface cult, but that was scrapped because of real world events at the time, and was replaced with Roman being the only Ghostface single killer in a Scream movie, and even with his motives, a lot of people didn't like this reveal for Scream 3. Honestly, the more I watched 3, the more I like Roman, but initially, I thought his reveal was very underwhelming. I know the debate of Stu being alive or not is something fans are split on and can go back and forth until the end of time. If you've seen some of my previous videos, you know that I've made several videos talking about Stu still being alive, what he's been up to this whole time since the original Scream, and how we can make his return to where it makes sense in the story. Side note, with all the bad news we have going on about Scream 7, with Melissa Barrera being fired, Jenna Ortega leaving the movie, and director Christopher Landon quitting Scream 7, the movie overall seems like it's in very big trouble and it's going to get scrapped. Either way, the movie is probably going to be super delayed because of casting and needing a new director alone. Potential good news is that the delay could have radio silence free to make a return. They had stated originally that they weren't going to return because, quote, they spent all the time they needed in the franchise and were ready to move on to different kinds of projects. Also, there was filming scheduling conflicts, which is why they weren't going to be a part of Scream 7. But with delays because of the writing and actor strike, and this mess with Spyglass firing Melissa for speaking her mind online, Jenna Ortega leaving, director Christopher Landon leaving, all this could be something to where Radio Silence can make a return to make Scream 7 happen. I have a video explaining the first part of the Scream 7 script with Nev Campbell returning as Sidney Prescott in another video, so check it out. Also, I'll be posting part 2 of that script soon, so be on the lookout for that as well. Back to Stu. Even with creators, quote unquote, officially confirming that Stu is dead after he had that dinosaur TV dropped on his face this whole time. In your dreams. Then, all the movies after, until 6, when Kirby and Mindy talk in the Ghostface Shrine where it's stated and hinted that Stu could still be alive. I have videos talking about Stu being the leader of the Ghostface cult in 7, so check it out. I think the Ghostface cult is something that's been talked about for a while and should definitely happen. I think the threat of the most ghost faces ever would be something that can change the whole dynamic of danger for all the characters in a Scream movie. Like I said before, this only works if Nev Campbell comes back as Sydney and Stu has been planning this revenge since the ending of the first Scream movie. If I can have the ghost face reveals be my way, I'd want Stu, Jill, and Leslie to all be ghost faces and the leaders of the ghost face cult. If Seven is going to be the last movie in the franchise, I do want Sydney and all the members of the core four to be in the movie because if there's a Ghostface cult with a whole bunch of members, we need to have as many main characters as possible. Of course, the movie is going to be pushed with all the problems going on because of Spyglass. I have my fingers crossed that even with Melissa rejecting Spyglass to have her come back as Sam for Seven, that eventually something will give and Scream Seven will happen at some point. I have a video talking about Melissa rejecting Spyglass, asking her to return for Scream 7 in another video, so check it out. But yeah, that's the video. Let me know in the comments if you think Stu can make a return, with Guy Busick being one of the writers for Scream 7 who wants Stu alive and to make a return. Do you support other people like Leslie and Jill being in 7? Also, what do you think about the Ghostface cult being in 7, especially if it's the last movie in the franchise? Like and share the video, subscribe, tell other Scream fans to support the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Totally for sure.